everyone, welcome to my channel and as you can tell from the title of this video, I will be sharing with you some of the basic makeup products that you need if you're just starting out with makeup and maybe some of these you have seen already in other videos since they're very popular but nonetheless I still wanted to share them with you. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Sorry if it seems a little bit rushed but I just want to make sure that I keep this video under the 10 minutes and I'm going to start off with a moisturizer. For me, it's very important that you use a moisturizer, especially in the daytime, with an SPF, minimum of 30, and one of my favorites, which you have probably seen featured in several of my videos if you are a um, loyal subscriber, is this Olay Complete SPF 30 Defense Moisturizer, um, and it works very good. Another thing that you should consider is a um, foundation primer, and I really like Rimmel Fix It Perfect. It just helps your makeup stay on longer. And this is a foundation that you guys have probably seen in thousands of videos because many people have raved about it, but it's really, really good. And it's Revlon Color Stay Foundation. And just in case you're interested, my shade is Sand Beige number 180. Um, a MAC product that I really like and I use this on a daily basis as my face powder and even setting powder is their Mineralize Skin Finish Natural and my shade is Medium Plus. Now the other must have product if you really want your eyeshadows to stay on longer for them not to crease is a eyeshadow primer and my all time favorite is Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Now this is kind of pricey, I believe it's $17, so if you're not able to kind of splurge on this, you can always check out videos here on YouTube where um, some gurus actually demonstrate how to make your own eyeshadow primer from home, so that's another suggestion. Now this is totally optional if you want your eyeshadows to pop even more. Um, I suggest that you purchase some cream bases. And this is a dual from ELF and this one's in butternut, which is just a dollar. Now some that I know all of you have seen are the NYX Jumbo Pencils and I just have a couple. I have the um, Milk, which is the white one. I actually had to depot it and it's just a basic white. Now to groom my eyebrows, or to actually set them in place, I have two favorite um, products, and one of them is from ELF, which is their um, brow and what else? Lash and Brow Clear Mascara, which this one actually gets kind of gross because it has some of that um, eyeshadow, which I used to fill in my eyebrows with. Another option that I can give you if you're interested more in wax is from Sally's Beauty Supply, and this is the brand Femme Couture, Brow Couture Grooming Wax. And I actually have a video where I demonstrate how I define my eyebrows, just in case you're interested, where I feature this product. As far as concealer, I have two favorite ones, and this one I use it on a daily basis, and it's the Sonia Kashuk. Hidden Agenda Number no. 7 Concealer Palette, and it comes with two concealers, a translucent powder, and a neutralizer, which have a nice creamy consistency, which is what you look for, especially in the eye area, since you don't want to be tugging the eye area. Now, this product is from eBay, and it's the Tan Concealer Palette. This is very nice, especially if you're into makeup artistry and you're just starting out. This is just $10, and it has a nice creamy consistency as well, and it has a very nice range of shades, which you can mix to actually, if you're having a hard time finding your shade, you can always mix shades together to come up with your um, shade. As far as eyeliner, I really like from L'Oreal. This Hip Color Truth Cream Eyeliner, and this one's in number 905 black, 
which comes with a synthetic angled brush, which this is the one that I use to apply it with. Really nice and stiff. You really want something stiff to apply creamy products just to have a little bit more, pre to be actually a little bit more precise. As far as bronzers, I know that many of you guys have seen this one here on YouTube, and it's from NYC Sunny. Uh, what I love about it is that it has a matte finish, and it's a very, very versatile. You can use it as a bronzer, you can use it as a brush, you can use it to contour, you can use it to define your nose. It's just endless, the amount of things that you can do with that product. Now, as far as blushes, I really like from Maybelline. Their Dream Mousse Blush, and this shade is number 25, Rose Petal, which has some gold reflex, a nice pinky shade. Really easy to apply if you're new to, like, cream blushes, and totally inexpensive. Now from L, which is the packaging, I like their Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder. And it's probably the exact same shade as the one from Maybelline that I show you right now. It has some gold reflex as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on to eyeshadows. And to be honest with you, I prefer having palettes um, rather than single eyeshadows. I just like to have all the, most of my eyeshadows in one spot. And I just want to start with a small palette in case you're into color and this one's from the brand LA Colors in T. And like I mentioned, this is a nice colorful palette if you want to start playing with a little bit of more color and which is pretty inexpensive. I probably got it around for $3, $4 at the most. But the palettes that I really, really like and that I use on a daily basis are my neutral palettes from eBay. And the one that I'm about to show you right now has 72 shades. And if you have seen my other videos, you know what this looks like already. So it's like, when am I gonna finish all of these, right? So if you're into makeup artistry as well and you're doing a little bit of freelancing, that's a nice palette to have. The other palette that I have is the 28 Neutral Palette. And both of these palettes have different finishes. You can go from matte to shimmer to satin finishes. So really nice. As far as color, colorful eyeshadows, I own the 120 Palette, which I got for like $15 without ship without including shipping. And this is what the shapes look like. Really, really nice colorful shape. And this is the second layer. So once again, sorry if this seemed a little rushed. Um, it's just that I want to make sure that I keep it under the 10 minutes. And if you have any questions Feel free to post a comment down below this video. If you liked the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to do so if you enjoy watching my videos. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.